guys, welcome back to another episode of Love Island the Game Double Trouble. If you're new here, my name is Leia and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam, become a bestie, all that good stuff. Journey to 1K subs. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Previously on episode 29, that drama filled episode where Went around trying to find the secret, found out it was Ozzy that had a threesome kiss while skinny dipping in the pool. Then I told him to tell Grace, told Grace it was a big thing. I also had some time to speak to Jamal, had some time to speak to Andy, flirted with Jamal, also kissed him. Told him that we, like I could see me and him making it all the way to the end. What else happened? Marshall not backing up Amelia. <laughs> And then we got a text talking about movie night. So they're going to be sharing some scenes while we was both away. And yeah, let's have some more drama. So let's just jump straight on into it. Love Island the Game Double Trouble episode 30. Let's go. All right. Episode 30. That's show business. Movie night rocks some of the couples with some juicy behind the scenes. All right, I've dimmed the lights, grabbed the snacks, and nabbed the front row seat on my trusty plastic chair. Welcome back to Love Island 4, Movie Night. What genre are we showing tonight at the Villa Cinema, you might ask? I'm sensing drama with a sprinkling of action. Maybe some romance? I'm partial to a good rom-com myself. My life reminds me of one, actually. Or was it horror I was thinking of? On that note... You and the girls bustle about the dressing room. A frosty layer of tension hangs in the air. Flo spritzes perfume all over herself and pumps it around the room. Amelia coughs and fans the air. Flo, you smell great. Do you need that much perfume? Yeah, it's not supposed to be used as an air freshener. Oops, sorry. I think I can actually taste it. It is a lot. I was trying to diffuse the tension. It has notes of lavender. Calming, right? Grace starts giggling. Amelia shakes her head with a smile on her face. Your laugh is too infectious, Grace. Just makes me want to join in. Agree and laugh with them. She's right. Your laugh is magic. You throw back your head and laugh too. The rest of the girls follow suit. What can I say? I get it from my auntie. She's always laughing. I started this. Me and my lavender and amber perfume. Strongest perfume I've ever smelled. I'm so glad we're all laughing again. The boys are gonna wonder what we're all doing in here, but we should address what happened outside. Exactly. I'm really sorry for snapping at you, Grace. I'm sorry too. I absolutely don't wanna argue, babe. I really hope Marshall and Ozzy can patch things up. They're brothers after all. Me too. I'm only angry at Oz, really. I keep thinking we can get things back on track. I mean, there must be a reason why both of us decided not to twist. Give it time. You might have to give it some time. Time heals or something like that. I'm not sure we have time, Erica. I know I said this before, but movie night might be it for us. I reckon his clips are gonna be icky. We have to think about our own clips too. Oh yeah. I'm scared now. Don't sweat it, girls. Easy for you to say, you've not been here for that long. Who knows what they could dig up for our movies. Are you worried, Erica? I'm chilled. I'm so chill about it, feeling untouchable. Oh yes, that's it, catch that feeling, girls. It's about to be iconic. I might be the next meme. Nah, gotta be me, I'll practice. Instantly memeable, right? Okay, enough meme talk. Erica, you gotta get dressed. Need to look your best for the red carpet. Alright. So they only give us two options, which is either this free one or this 30 gem one. Which the 30 gem one is obviously pretty, but it's like 30 gems? Come on, y'all are killing me. Killing us, technically. And I really like this dress, but... 30 gems, I just cannot do it right now. So we're gonna have to just go to this plain one. And yeah. <laughs> I 
think that's it. Oh, we got new jewelry. Maybe I could do a necklace, change it up. I think I'm good with this. You sure? You got a big night ahead. We need to turn heads. This is another chance to really wow everyone. Plus, who knows how the dynamic will change after movie night. I'm fine in this. I'm honestly good in this. Whatever works. You know what? I bet the boys are even more nervous than we are. As they should be. I'm just glad we both pulled together. We needed to have each other's back. Nothing can break the girl bond. Aww. You girls are gold. So happy to join your group. Happy to have you in the villa. Whilst the girls are putting the finishing touches to their outfits, Amelia pulls you aside. Can we have a quick sister chat before the chaos unfolds? Sure. You both head into the bedroom. Okay, the way Marshall just walked off was weird, right? Like, I was trying to have his back and he completely ignored me. Maybe he'll explain. Maybe he has an explanation? He might have needed some space to cool off. Thanks for trying to make me feel better, but I doubt it. His whole manner seemed to switch. It's like he just didn't care. We had such a great vibe in Casa. I was hoping he'd be my end game in here. We're both pretty similar. Traveling, partying, events. When I first came in, I was looking for a boy with a bit of a wild side. Marshall definitely has that, but maybe I'm going for the wrong type. There might be more to him. I guess you two don't know each other that well yet. There could be more to him. Sometimes it takes a while for people to open up. The wild party boy side could be one part of his personality. You're totally right. I'm so glad I've got you here to level with me. I think I should try and give him another chance. Movie night is bringing the pressure though. It could cause problems. I'm worrying about his clip. Not to mention mom. Hoping it's just a montage of all the fun times we've had in the villa like the pranks and laughs we've had. Then we really could lean back and enjoy our popcorn. I wish. I gotta ask where your head is at. Who knows what's about to be revealed? Anyone in particular you're worried about? Jamal. I'm worried about Jamal's clip. Who knows what's about to be revealed? Well, I know he's super into you, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Time will tell. The rest of the girls arrive from the dressing room smelling strongly of lavender and amber and looking a little nervous. Are we ready, girls? Ready to throw frosty looks and keep our cool? In an ideal world, yeah, we'd keep it cool. But this is Love Island. Exactly, so we won't be making any promises. Please remember to blink though, Grace. Oh, um, yeah. I was just thinking of all the awful possible outcomes. So if my eyes look glazed over, that's why. Let's go to the movies. You arrive on the lawn to see a giant movie screen in front of rows of chairs. There's popcorn and drinks. The boys sit at one side, scoffing popcorn nervously. Marshall and Ozzy sit either side of the other boys. You and the girls take your seats. Good to see you boys getting along, okay? Amelia throws Marshall a cool glance. Same to you girls. We thought it best to separate Ozzy and Marshall for now. A wise decision indeed, Dr. Andy. Still not a doctor. I am wise though. So modest, that's what I love about you, bro. Right back at you. Others in here could do with the taking of leaf out of your book. I heard that. I didn't name any names. You two are exhausting. As you and the girls get comfy, Flo reaches forward to take a swig of her drink. Ooh, is this ginger beer? It's lemonade. Are you a ginger beer fan? I'm an Aussie. I thought they'd cater for my unique taste. By that logic, the rest of us would be drinking good old cups of tea. Ew, not in this weather. But we all agree on popcorn, right? Depends, sweet or salted. Well, I think... You trail off as you notice the screen blink into action. You get a text. You reach for your phone and read out the text. Islanders, movie magic is about to begin. Sit back, reach for the popcorn, and get ready for a series of saucy cinematic clips. Hashtag movie mayhem, hashtag close-up action. 
Girls will choose first, followed by boys. Enjoy your big screen debuts. Hashtag leading ladies. Hashtag best actor goes to... Uh-oh. My thoughts exactly. A list of titles appear on the screen. Grace jumps up and points towards the first. That one. We're doing that one first. Ozzy making moves. Great, I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, me too. Ozzy rolls his eyes. The first clip begins to play. It shows you and Ozzy on the terrace together. It fades in and out with various snippets of Ozzy's flirty words to you. I just always regret tonight if, if you were dumped and maybe there was something more. No matter what I do, my head keeps spinning back to you, Erica. You may be a twin, but you really are one of a kind, you know? The montage finishes. What the hell, Ozzy? Yeah. The scene changes to Ozzy in the pool with two gorgeous girls. They flirt and splash water at each other. Ozzy snobs them both in the three-way kiss. The screen fades to black. Being disappointed in you is getting to be all too predictable now, Oz. You already knew all of that, to be fair. Like, that makes it any better. You're supposed to consider the feelings of the girl you're coupled up with. But you just don't care. I do care, and I am sorry about this. I get none of that should have happened, but I tried to own it. Yeah, and late. Don't even speak to me for a while. I don't want to know. Oof, this isn't looking good. You look over at Ozzy. I'm going to be indifferent with Ozzy. You avoid Ozzy's gaze, pretending to study your nails instead. Erica, you were in that clip too. Was I? All the heat is on me here anyway. Yes, it is. But I would like to see Erica's part in that combo. You know what I said to Ozzy. No time to dwell. Yeah, it's our turn to pick. Um, maybe Ozzy should pick. Let's do this one then. Fall from Grace. Oh gosh. Here we go. The screen shows Grace and Hamish in the Casa Moore dressing room kissing passionately. They're totally caught up in the passion of the moment. Hmm, I just can't resist. You're such a great kisser, Hamish. I know. The clip finishes. Looks like you two got extremely close. How is that any better than my pool kiss? You've been messing with two girls, three including all the stuff with Erica. I just slipped up with one boy. Just a little mishap. A kiss hat? Shut up, Marshall. That explains why he was so convinced you twist with him. Who says I know when someone says they're a good kisser? It was very hamish. Glad to know your bar was low, Grace. From the guy kissing two girls at the same time? Exactly how many times did you kiss this Hamish guy? Keep out of it. You sit back and watch the drama unfold. It doesn't even matter how many times. At least I didn't snog two boys at the same time. Imagine if I had grabbed both Hamish and Marshall in the pool or something. Don't bring me into this. Mostly because I never would have kissed Hamish. That guy was not it. You could and can do better, Grace. Ozzy throws him a scathing look. Maybe you're right. This is a lot. It is getting pretty intense. And we're only on clip two. I'm just trying to mind my own business. I'll pick again. Hopelessly devoted to Erica. Sounds like a fun one. Maybe it'll bring the mood up a bit. Go for it. Wonder who it will be. Flo looks at you from beneath her long, dark lashes. I'm intrigued about this one, too. The third clip rolls to show Jamal chatting with one of the dumped Casa Amor girls. I've only ever been into one girl in here. Erica, it's always been Erica. The clip goes on to show the Casa Amor girl touching his arm and leaning in close to him. You're lovely, but I'm just not interested. The clip ends. Aw, that's actually adorable. Especially because he assumed you'd be sent home at that point. Honestly refreshing. Wish all boys would behave like that. Ozzy looks defeated. I hate to say it, but that is pretty damn cool, man. So respectful. See, this is why we're BFFs in here. You're just a straight up good guy. Praise Jamal. 
You stand up and throw your arms out towards Jamal, smiling wildly. You are a gem. I can't believe you did that. So, so sweet. I had to be true to myself. It's how I really feel. Well, you know how I feel about you. You're the girl for me. Oh, my heart. Blow him a flirty kiss. You blow a kiss over to Jamal. He smiles and clutches his heart. Thanks, I'll treasure that, Erica. You should. Cuties. It's like a movie scene. Enough sentimentals. I need more cinema. What are we picking next? Bye, Bella, bye. Sounds like fun. Oh, man. I'm not ready for my close-up. Play the movie. Bella's clip shows her in the dressing room talking to Grace. I just can't picture my time in here being meaningful without Erica. I genuinely think I might leave the villa. Aw, oh, babe. I don't think there's anything else left for me here. Apart from you girls, of course. But I can see you on the outside. The clip ends. I remember that convo. It was just after we thought you'd been dumped, Erica. I'm so glad you didn't leave. The shock reaction. You were really gonna leave for me? Yup, didn't wanna waste my time, you know? I get that. It can take me a while to get close to people, and I felt it pretty quickly with you. That's unusual for me. Grace pulls Bella into a side hug. Opening up is so important, Bella. Go, Bella. Girls pick again. I'm curious about that one. Which one? The instigation game. Hmm, I've got a bad feeling about this one. Oh no, don't say that. Let's see it then. The boys shift nervously in their seats. The screen blares back into action. This time it shows Roberto chatting to Ozzy. And Grace isn't here. Who knows what she could be doing over in Casa. Maybe you've got a point. You owe it to yourself to let loose. Get to know these new girls. Deal with the fallout later. Maybe you're right. The screen fades to black. That looks pretty bad, I'll admit. Oh, that looks worse than bad. That is really sketchy. That's snaky. Didn't know you were such a snake, Roberto. Disappointing, really. Trash behavior. Let me explain. Go on, then. We're waiting. You probably should. Funny how the rest of you boys are silent, too. Should be calling him out. You're so right, Bella. Sorry, I didn't get here too long ago, so I don't know all the details. I guess, but Marshall and I are no stranger to calling out bad behavior. He's talking about the ham man. I appreciate it, but stop reminding me. Roberto, I told you at the time you should have Grace's back more. At least one of you boys did. I was just trying to help Oz feel better. No offense, Grace, but you and Ozzy have had a lot of problems. You just keep digging, don't you? Also, it's not like you were fully loyal in Casa. That's not the point. It was not your business to be encouraging him to stray. I know that, but he's a big boy. He didn't have to follow my advice. Obviously, but you should have just kept out of it. Clearly. Oz, wanna help me out here? They're already disappointed in me with good reason. Your turn, bro. Fair. Maybe I should play mediator and say it's time to move on? Good idea. Plenty more clips in the sea. Yeah, I'd like to see another. I really am sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. Just got caught up in all the excitement. Since you've made yourself the official mediator, flow, I reckon we should pick you up with. Confessions, flow. Ooh, yes. Are you ever bothered, flow? I try not to be. Unless I'm in love. The on-screen action begins once again. Flo and Roberto are chilling on the daybeds. I'm drowning in your eyes. Maybe I could save you. Heard it before my guy. Cute try though. Fail. Don't worry about it. You're fun though. Am I the one for you then? Honestly, nah. Burn, and I was about to ask if you wanted to couple up. Amelia definitely isn't into it anymore. I'm thinking she's gonna twist. So that's the real reason you wanted to twist with me? Maybe, could be a way to keep us both safe. It would give me a chance to meet my person. And who's that? Now that be telling, wouldn't it? 
So, you're open to coupling up as a friend couple to give you more time? I'm all over it. It'll work out perfectly. I came to the villa to meet the one. I absolutely don't want to go home before I meet them. We've got a deal. The clip fades out. Wow, they were lying the whole time. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. Can't even be mad at you for that. Gotta love that honesty. Ask Flo if she found somebody. So, if Roberto is in it for you, did you find that somebody yet? Good question. Very good question. I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Love how she pied Roberto, but got what she wanted from him. It's what I needed to see after that last clip. Glad to be of service. Let's play another movie. What about Crimes of the Kitchen? Sounds fun. I'm down. The screen shows Andy and the Casa more boys in the kitchen cooking for your breakfast date. All right, mate, I've never seen so much oil in a pan. Even my toast is gonna beat your breakfast for Africa. Do you want any bacon with that oil? Oil is an aphrodisiac. The stuff that comes out of your mouth, I despair. Let me tip some out for you. Whilst Marshall's back is turned, Andy turns the toaster down low. The clip cuts to the toaster puffing black clouds of smoke. Oh, what? I hope Erica likes her toast cremated. Oh man, it's ruined. Marshall tries to retrieve his toast. Andy turns away and does a quick celebration dance. The screen fades to black. Oh, that is golden. It was black, not golden. Andy, you're hilarious. Best clip so far. Well, well, well. It seems my best mate in here had secretly been working as my arch nemesis. It was all too easy. There are more pranks where that came from. I'm gonna eat my popcorn and ignore him. You ignore the reactions of the other islanders and start munching on your popcorn. Erica, how can you not find that funny? We used to pull pranks all the time when we were growing up. Never said I didn't find it funny. I love the suspense. Okay, what clip we picking this time? Wait, what's that one? You have got to be kidding me. No way. Ozzy making moves part two? Just get it over with. I'm so over this. The clip goes back to you and Ozzy on the terrace once more. I just always regret tonight if, if you were dumped and maybe there was something more. But this time, it shows your response. You might be right there, Ozzy. We're in the Love Island Villa after all. We should be open to exploring each other. That's what I mean. Exploring sounds like fun. And I don't see a ring on your finger just yet. The screen cuts to black. So I guess that was my clip. But somehow also another way for me to look bad. Ugh, I feel sick. Andy shifts awkwardly in his chair. He avoids your eye. Jamal glances at you, a flash of annoyance on his face. It's also disrespectful. Apologize. I'm sorry. That's just how it went down. Can't change it now. Let's just be chill about it. I'm trying. I knew that you two were flirty. It just sucks to see it up there in HD. Trust me, Grace, I'm not loving it either. We must be nearly done. Just two to go. Mine won't even be bad. Calling it. The twin brothers grim. Reckon that's gotta be yours, Marsh. You think? Lights, camera, action. The screen shows a montage of Marshall talking. I'll tell you about the real Ozzy, and you might not like what you hear. Don't be fooled by his nice boy persona. Ozzy's always been good at putting on a show. Ozzy, on the other hand, he's slow, stubborn, and way too proud. Last time I checked, he was still a backup dancer. The screen fades to black. The islanders are stunned. Amelia looks at you, her eyes full of shock. Wow. Wow what? Did you just come to the villa to dump on me? Nope, came to find the girl in my dreams. You're gonna lose her. This is all irrelevant. Siblings do argue. <laughs> Siblings do fight. Maybe we should give Marshall a break? Exactly. Somebody's speaking sense. I don't know, Erica. It isn't like a one-off argument. Bad mouthing a brother when he's not there to defend himself? 
I was just venting. I'm not liking this side of you, Marshall. She looks over at you. I'd never talk about you like that, Erica. And I'm sure you wouldn't talk that way about me. It's your girl, the mediator, back again. One more clip. I'm so full of popcorn, I need to sleep soon. So, we're ending on a me, Leah, gonna be famous? I'm nervous. Roll the final clip. The final clip shows Ivy and Amelia in a private chat. I do sometimes regret not taking the opportunity Zeph gave me. My life could have been so different. Maybe even better. I don't know why I'm thinking about it now. The clip finishes and you feel the others looking at you. Amelia holds out her hand to you. Erica, you okay? Ask what she meant. What opportunity did you mean? Can we talk about it in private after we're done here? Then I can explain properly if you want. Now we're potentially not the only twins arguing tonight, eh, Oz? Stop. The screen finally fades to black and the islanders start to disperse, tension hanging heavy in the air. Amelia gestures for you to follow her. Can we talk now? I owe you a massive explanation. I've tried to tell you this a few times in here, but something keeps getting in the way. What is it? Okay, well you remember when Zeph suddenly upped and left? How could I forget? Sorry, silly question. Well, he didn't leave as abruptly as you thought. He spoke to me about it first. Really? Why didn't you tell me? Because of what he said to me, but I have to tell you now. What was it? He asked me to go on tour with him. No way! He wanted me to travel the world with him. He knew I always wanted to travel, so thought this would be the perfect chance. Instead of uni? I'd have done a gap year. He knew I wanted to work in events. He thought this might be a good career launcher for me. Why didn't you go then? I couldn't do that to you. I knew you'd caught feels for him. It had felt like I was betraying you. Plus, I didn't want to be apart from you for that long. I'm still hurt you kept it from me. I still can't believe you didn't tell me earlier. Way earlier. Seriously, Amelia. I know. I should have told you at the time. I thought telling you would make things sting more. You should have just explained at the time. I know that now, and if I could go back, I'd tell you everything. But I just wanted to focus on getting you smiling again. I thought moving on was best for us both. I obviously wasn't going to go and leave you. You'll always come first. Did you regret staying? I did for a bit, but it passed soon. And I didn't need him to launch my career anyway. Thanks, but no thanks. Plus, his music was always overrated anyway. You both laugh and Amelia gently nudges into you. I promise this is the last revelation about Zeph. You know everything now. Okay. Back to the here and now. That was an eventful movie night. It really was. Massive drama. I loved every second of it. Could you see me stifling giggles behind my popcorn? I might have caught a glance, yeah. We need to talk about my man Marshall. Although, I'm not sure he's still my man. Why is that? The way he slated Ozzy behind his back and didn't own it? I know they don't always see eye to eye, but he went too far. I know you think it's just sibling bickering, but he should have been bigging Ozzy up to us. Not slating him, even if they've got some beef. It kind of gave me the ick. So, how are you going to play with him? I've got no idea, Erica. I'm clueless like usual. I know you were attracted to Marshall at the start of Casa. Why are you bringing this up? Maybe we were too hasty agreeing to twist together. I don't know. I've got a lot to think about right now. I wanted to see where your head's at with Marshall. Marshall who? The Marshall ship has sailed for me. Me and Marshall aren't close to being a thing. I get that. Good to know where your head's at. So, did any other clips put you off anyone? No, all good. All good on my end. You expect a bit of a drama with movie night. And we sure got it. Oh, so I've got my read on this, but I'll ask to be sure. Now you've seen the clips from Flo and Bella. Go on. Which girl are you feeling most into now? Really? Why can't there be an option where we choose none of them? It will always be Bella over Flo. So I'm gonna just say Bella. It's gotta be Bella. Thought so. Makes sense. You've known her longer. Speak of the devil. Looks like she wants to chat with you. You see Bella waving you over to join her on the swing seat. You head over to the swing seat. Hey Erica, that was a lot, wasn't it? It was all drama. It definitely was all drama, apart from a few sweet moments. Oh yeah, they got a bit overshadowed by the drama. 
I think you might be right about that. More sweet moments to come though, I reckon. I felt bad for the newbies having to watch all the drama unfold. Marshall had a lot to say. He's a good guy, but he was stirring the pot a little. You think? Especially with the whole Ozzy and Grace thing. You want to talk about the Ozzy flirting, don't you? Well, yeah, I'm definitely intrigued about that one. I don't want to assume anything, but the flirting made me wonder if you're still into him. It's complicated. It's all complicated, I guess. There's a lot to figure out. Not just with Ozzy. Hmm, that's good to know. I just wanted to make sure I spoke to you about it. Well, I'm pretty confident that I can take your mind away from Ozzy. Oh, are you? I think I should ask you how you really felt about my clip. I was shocked. I found it quite shocking. That doesn't sound good. You've got me sweating now. I just didn't realize you thought about leaving for me. I really didn't think there was anything left for me in the villa. I was going to be so bored without you. You're the girl I wanted to hang with. Bella smiles at you gently. The moonlight glints deep in her eyes. It's been a long night. We should get some rest. As you stroll back across the lawn together, you see Grace engaged in a deep chat with Ozzy and Marshall. You walk into the bedroom to find the girls sitting on the ends of their beds. Where are the boys? I think Jamal and Roberto are making late night nachos. I'm hungry now. I'm so full of popcorn, please don't talk about food ever again. Grace is talking to Ozzy and Marshall in the garden. Well, that's a plot twist. Maybe she's actually trying to get them to make up. That would be a miracle. Whatever they're talking about, I'm keeping out of it tonight. I actually can't keep my eyes open. Your phone pings from the bedside table. I've got a text. Islanders, get some rest because you'll be meeting a new arrival in the morning. Hashtag morning cup of tea. Hashtag bombshell for breakfast. Amelia flops onto her bed dramatically. The fun never stops, does it? Another bombshell. Don't we spoil them? Can I just say, nobody told me about the concept of late night nachos. They feed me the villa leftovers, you see? I've been thriving on a diet of protein smoothie dregs and pizza crusts. Yum. Join us next time on the Love Island to meet the tasty new Islander. Alright, so that was Love Island the Game, Double Trouble, episode, episode 30. So, pretty lengthy episode, a lot going on. It was movie night, so we were seeing clips from both boys and girls. Um, Jamal's clip was tame. I liked it. I'm happy with how it went. They showed me and Ozzy's two clips when he was telling me what he was telling me on the terrace. Um, they showed Grace kissing Hamish. <laughs> They showed Ozzy kissing those two girls, Amelia and the Zeph situation, Flo and finding out that Flo and Roberto, that whole thing is not even real. They just coupled up just to be safe. So yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, that was Love Island the Game Double Trouble episode 30. Happy that my camera's working for this. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. I don't know if it's a battery issue, the charging issue, or a camera issue. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.